Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film an eye look. So I already have my foundation and concealer on. Um, I use the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation and the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And then I used uh, a translucent powder under my eyes. So now we're gonna move on to the eyes. So when I was thinking of what to film, um, I thought I would use this since it is brand new and I haven't used it yet. So it's really cute. It's in the shape of a um, shell, seashell. And then these are the colors. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in a little bit and I did put um, concealer on my eyelid. Um, but I haven't set it down with powder or anything. So I'm just gonna take my face powder and um, just pick up a little bit on like a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to pat over my eyelid and this is going to prevent the eyeshadow from creasing. You don't have to do this, um, but my eyelids crease a lot. They get very oily, so I just like to set it down before I go in with a powder. That way it's not, um, it doesn't get muddy and it kind of blends really seamlessly and nicely. So since I've been really into mauve colors lately, I'm gonna take the color Sandbar right here. And it's not a full mauve purple, but um, it's a brown, but I feel like it has some purple in it. So I'm just going to take this on an E40 brush from Sigma, and I'm just going to put this all in the crease starting out with kind of a little less and then as i go on i'm just going to build it up but this is going to be our crease color and this is going to help us blend out any other colors that we have that are going to go on top and i'm going to do the same thing on the other side so i'm just going to repeat the steps that i did So once you have that blended out, I'm going to take a smaller taper brush like this and I'm going to take the color Sure Thing and this one is also um, a mauve and this one's a little more mauve than the one that we put on first. So I'm kind of just going to go not precisely on my lid but also like not only in my crease. So I'm kind of just going to wash this color all over. Next with a fluffy brush, but it's kind of like flat at the same time. Sorry, which is this color right here and it's nice and gold. And I think I'm going to place this on this part of my lid. And I think I'm going to wet my brush. I'm going to take Mermosa. These names are so cute. I'm going to take Mermosa, which is like a lighter gold. And I'm going to do that right in the center. Deepen out the edges just a little bit. I'm going to take like a fluffier pencil brush and I think I'm gonna go into shipwreck which is this color like this color right here which is kind of it's actually really purple 
Um, I don't know. I'm just going to see what this kind of looks like in my outer corner. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like that, and then I'm gonna take Cavern, which is a shimmery purple, purpley color, and I'm gonna mend these colors together with using that color. So it's gonna look like that and then I'm gonna take a tapered brush again that I went into my crease with. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna blend this out because it's a little messy. And as you can see, I'm kind of doing like a blown out V. This is our eye look. Again, I'm gonna take this pencil brush again. And I'm going to take Sandbar and Shore Thing, our two crease colors. And I'm going to drag this under my... On my lash line. I'm gonna take some eyelashes and these are Lily Lashes in Mykonos. And I'm going to take some eyelash glue. Well, first we're gonna curl my eyelashes. I'm not gonna do um, eyeliner. Um, I think eyeliner is a lot sometimes, so I'm just gonna do dramatic eyelashes. So I'm putting some eyelash glue and I'm gonna let those sit. And as I'm letting those sit, I'm gonna move on to contour. I'm gonna take my mini hula and I dip into that. And I'm just gonna start kind of chiseling out my cheeks just slightly. I'm gonna do tops of my forehead, of course. taking the rich amber from Anastasia Beverly Hills it looks like this and I'm just gonna take a little bit because it's super pigmented and I'm just gonna like warm up my face a little more you like barely have to tap into this product at all and it's very pigmented so but it's a very nice powder I'm gonna take the Anastasia trio uh, the blush trio and I'm gonna take nectarine and Miami the orange color and then this more pink color tap off the excess and I'm just gonna go right on the apples of my cheeks and lately I've really been loving the way orangey blushes look so I've really been enjoying this blush trio I like to take some max fix plus which I'm almost out. I like to spray my face. I'm gonna be taking two highlights. I know that's extra, but that's just what I like. Um, I'm gonna take the Morphe highlighter in extra, and I also got this for my grad as a graduation gift. And I'm gonna take the Anastasia, I think it's A12, and I'm just going to hit the tops of my cheeks with that powder. And I like this one on my cheeks because it's really um 
Like it really highlights your face, but it doesn't leave any chunks, which I really like. Then I'm gonna take the Amrezy Anastasia highlighter. It looks like this. And I'm gonna take the same A12 brush. And I'm gonna do a little more on my nose, on the bridge of my nose. And then right on the tip of my cheekbone, like right at the top. For eyelashes, I'm gonna take some roller lash. And I'm just going to coat my lashes. See if this one's that easy. Then I'm gonna take some mascara just to mend all the lashes and everything together. And then I'm gonna take some mascara from my bottom. I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera and I will be right back to finish off with the lips. Okay, so I'm gonna finish off with my lips. Now that my eyebrows are on, um, I'm gonna take the MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil. I really like this lip pencil. I'm gonna get my mirror ready so I can see close up. And I'm just going to line my lips. I take my favorite Tarte lip paint and it is in the color Bestie and I've used this so much but I think it's just such a pretty color. That was the finished lip. I'm going to take some all nighter spray and spray my face. Okay, so that's a wrap, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial on my new favorite palette, this little seashell palette by Tarte. Um, this is it for the video. I'm all finished, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.